Ma, I think I'm ready to marry my girlfriend and I want us to start the process. Hey, you and who? Jones, you and who are going to start which process? Of marrying who? That girl with one and a half legs? Ma, I told you I don't like how you describe my girl. I love her the way she is. How much care is she able to take of herself? And she's coming to take care of you and your home. Mommy, she's capable. And what if she gives me disabled grandchildren? I mean... Oh, my. The fact that she's disabled does not mean that she's going to give birth to children with disabilities. Jones. Read my lips. You are not going to marry a girl with a disability. If this whole idea is because you have impregnated her, then you should know that she's going to abort that pregnancy. What? Yes. Why do you think parents abort pregnancy for their disabled girls? It's because they know they can't carry their pregnancies let alone raise families. That's cruel. Well, call it whatever you want to call it, but you are not going to marry that girl. No. Now, this is wrong. Like all other human beings, persons with disabilities are also entitled to all human rights, including reproduction. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities guarantees their right to family life, as well as information on sexual and reproductive health, which includes family planning. It is therefore wrong for a health worker to miseducate or deny a person with disability information about sexual and reproductive health or family planning. Do not deny persons with disabilities the right to marriage and family life. It is a human rights violation. You better believe it. Yes, I can.